Hi there, I'm Paul Mitchell, leadership coach, author, and founder of The Human Enterprise. Welcome to Mentoring with Mitch, where we answer your questions about leadership at work, at home, and in your community. And uh, the question today is from a school principal in New Zealand. So it's a great one that we've got some international questions coming through and fantastic that it's not all, not all about the, the corporate world. So let me read it to you. How do you know what issues to let go of and what issues to address with staff members? There are many things each day which may not be up to standard, but you must have to be reasonable with what you address. How do you process things that frustrate you but may need to be let go? <laughs> Interesting. Why I'm laughing is I can't help but think about the movie uh, Frozen. If you've got young kids, you've probably seen it thousands of times. And there's a line in there for all of us adults, and that is let it go, let it go, let it go. But um, that probably doesn't help. Here's a, here's a couple of ideas that, that, that may help. First of all, one, think outcomes. Is the way they're going about their work that important or is it more about the outcome? It could sometimes be the way they're going about their work. It could be that collaboration is as vital as the outcome. And for sure, you'd need to have a look at the way they're doing that work. But sometimes it's the outcome that's important and we need to leave it up to the individual in regard to the way they're going to do their work. Second thing is ask yourself and have a discussion with your team member uh, as to are they clear on what we would call the boundaries. I'm indebted to or in debt to uh, Sarge, Jason Sargent from Red Bull, who introduced me to the term of freedom within, uh, uh, within an envelope, freedom within boundaries. In other words, here's the boundaries, very, very clear on the boundaries, but we allow people to do it their way within those boundaries. And what's absolutely vital is that the boundaries are, are really, really clear. Next thing, ask, ask yourself, are you after perfection here or mastery? Perfection in some areas, yeah, sure, but most of all, it's, it's about mastery. How do we master a certain task? And so if it is about mastery, what you may want to do is just be really upfront with one of your team members and talk about, hey, there are a couple of things where, the, where I think the standards are not where they are, and it's frustrating me. There's nothing like a, an honest, open approach. And then say, look, I'm wondering how that feels for you, and offer some coaching. So go from perfection to mastery, and if you're going mastery, then by all means, offer some coaching. And the final point, and this is probably the most important one, is always look at your own behavior. Is there any standard where, I, where you feel you're fall, falling short? Is there something that you're not doing? And rather than face into that, you're doing what we call projecting it onto the other person. You're projecting that their standards aren't good enough when really it could be about your standards. Or alternatively, maybe your standards are just too high. You're expecting too much from others, too much from yourself. So a couple of things to think about. Um, let's go through them again. Think about outcomes, not necessarily the, the way to do it, but think outcome rather than process. Think freedom within an envelope. Think mastery rather than perfection. And if it is mastery, go for coaching. And finally, start to think about, am I projecting any of my own stuff about standards rather than actually you know, looking at what I need to do? Hope that helps. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope that's helped or at least given you a couple of first steps. And if you have questions about leadership, leadership at home, leadership at work, or leadership in your community, we would love to hear from you. Please visit mentoringwithmitch.com and we'll get through as many questions as we can. And also subscribe so you make sure you get to hear every episode. And importantly, if you've got friends or colleagues or even family that you think would benefit from hearing some of these answers or some mentoring with Mitch, please make sure you share with them as well. Until next time, find the passion, develop the skills, make the numbers and make a difference.